Hey everyone, it's Erin, and I hope you're doing well wherever you are. I wanted to film a what I eat in a day since I haven't done one in a while, and I'm currently back at my parents' house for a few days so I can really spend time on making some yummy meals while at home. So the first thing I do every morning is to drink a glass of water. This helps me to wake up and it just rehydrates my body and gets my metabolism going. And then I take my daily vitamin pack right before I make some breakfast. These ones are from Care Of and they make it really easy to get the right supplements for your specific needs. You have to be really careful when it comes to any kind of supplements that you take. I like this brand because they use clean ingredients that's backed by science and they're really transparent about their research and sourcing. Rhodiola, which supports endurance and recovery. Iron, because I worry about having a deficiency from my predominantly vegetarian diet. Astaxanthin supports cognitive health and it's really easy to get a customizable routine just like this one. All I did is take a five minute quiz on takecareof.com and I addressed all of my health concerns. As the seasons change, it's important to take care of your immune health. So just take the quiz on takecareof.com to see what kind of vitamins and supplements are recommended for you and you can get 50% off your first order with my promo code Erin50. For today's breakfast, I felt like having a smoothie and I just used whatever ingredients I could find. So frozen bananas, frozen berries, acai packets, oat milk, and spinach. And all of these ingredients make a really delicious and healthy smoothie. So I just blend everything up and I kind of just eyeball the proportions and mainly go for a creamy texture. I also like to add in some chia seeds for an extra superfoods boost. Smoothies are always so easy and yummy and are great if you're low on time too. Since I'm just chilling at home today and just running a few errands, I have plenty of time to eat breakfast. So I'm also preparing some avocado egg toast with Japanese cream bread. This is really simple to prepare. Basically, just toast the bread, and while that's toasting, you heat the pan and cook an egg. I like to poach mine for my avocado toast creations, so to do this, I add a little bit of water to the pan and cover the egg until the yolk is cooked through. Then I spread some fresh avocado all over the bread, top with the egg, add some red pepper flakes, and then garnish with some fresh herbs. A breakfast like that usually keeps me pretty content for a while, but during the afternoon, I also like to enjoy a light snack such as a fruit salad. So this afternoon, I washed some fresh strawberries and blueberries and cut up some papaya. And once I added all the fruit together in a bowl, I squeezed some fresh lime on there, which is a total game changer in my opinion and really steps up the flavor. I went to the Japanese market yesterday, so I am all stocked up on the goodies. Lunch is usually the biggest meal of the day for me, and today I'm making miso soup and rice balls with some veggie dishes. The first step is to wash Japanese white rice, and my mom taught me to rinse it out until the water runs clear, and then you can add the water to the rice and cook. Rice takes about 30 minutes to be ready, so the next step is to prepare the miso soup. I fill a pot with water and let it warm up on the stove. Then I cut up daikon, which is a Japanese radish, and I cut this into small bite-sized pieces. Since this is a root, it does take a while to soften, so I let the daikon boil in water for a while, basically until the pieces become almost transparent, which means that it's soft and ready to eat but this does take some time, at least 20 minutes. So next I prepare a Japanese root called kimpira gobo, which is braised burdock root. 
I shave off the top layer and cut into thin bite-sized pieces. And what makes this dish so delicious are all of the sauces that get mixed in, like sesame oil, soy sauce, and maybe even a little bit of sake. So while that's cooking, I prep the rest of the ingredients that will go into the miso soup. So I chop up the green onions and then slice the tofu into small bite-sized pieces. When the daikon has been thoroughly cooked through, I reduce the heat and spoon in the miso paste. You usually want to have one spoonful of miso per bowl. So I added in a few spoonfuls and taste tested to make sure that the miso is potent enough. Then I add in the green onions and tofu and it's ready to be served. And then right about this time, the rice is also done as well. So I mix it all up and make some Japanese rice balls called onigiri. I have loved these ever since I was a young kid. They're an easy and tasty snack for when you're on the go and my mom would always make them for me for school lunches. I'm just using rice seasoning called hurikake and umeboshi, which is a pickled plum. And if you go to any good sushi restaurant, the chefs will toast the seaweed to bring out the flavor. So that's exactly what I'm also doing here. And now the fun part, which is shaping the rice into a triangular shape. This took me ages to understand how to do correctly, but I think I finally got it down. And now the last step is to prepare some traditional Japanese tea. Hojicha is a really popular beverage and it's a roasted green tea with a bold and smoky taste. And the main difference from regular green tea is that hojicha contains virtually no caffeine. So it's great to drink at any time of day. So now I serve everything all together. And I also like to have kimchi with this kind of meal because it goes really well with the rice. So I set it up for my mom and I to enjoy together and I'm using my special whale shark chopsticks and chopstick holders that I bought when I went to Okinawa a couple years ago along with some other Japanese tablewares that really help set the mood for this meal. So now it's time to make a light dinner. And before you're like, hold up, this girl is eating only cauliflower for dinner, hear me out. I'm still pretty full from my lunch and since I don't need to eat a lot today since I wasn't particularly active, a light dinner is perfect. And cooked cauliflower is actually quite delicious so don't hate it until you try it. So this is a really easy meal, just preheat the oven to 400 degrees, then I prep the cauliflower by chopping into bite sized pieces and then I lay on a cooking tray with some oil and then I pop it into the oven for about 20 minutes or until it gets some brown to it and cooks through. And sometimes I'll even flip them over to make sure they each get cooked through properly. Then I season with some grated Parmesan cheese and I crushed up some dried cilantro leaves as well. And then also added some lemon juice and salt and pepper to taste. And there you go, a super simple and light dinner. Obviously I don't eat like this every single day. This is just unique to today and what I felt like eating. Finally, I like to end every day with a cup of warm tea. Usually mint, lavender, or some kind of chamomile tea is so perfect to wind down and relax with. So tonight I'll be drinking Snore and Peace, and I take this to bed with me and I'll journal or read while I sip on my tea, and then I'll brush my teeth and get ready for bed. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed getting a glimpse into my day and what I eat, and good night.